Hello everybody, I'm Palkiafan08 and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. It is so nice to see you again. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Yes, I actually watched Batman and Robin yesterday. And I just want to say, thank god for painkillers. I was actually laughing a little bit here and there during the movie. But that might be because I was looking at my feet. Yeah, painkillers and your feet is apparently a very hilarious combination. But I digress. Let's just explore this town, shall we? Yeah, horrible movie, man. I must say though, this town is... Or especially the music is very eerie. And the town is very empty looking. But I really like it though, it's... Uh, it's something special about it, I think. <laughs> I heard that Eifrid the Pirates once had, a num had numerous hideouts on the sea floor where he kept his treasure. Hmm, I think chat will be happy to hear that. Oh yeah, last time we made a pirate chick named Chat, who is the descendant of Eifrid and we got her ship. Yeah, Peri Fusuya, whatever. I feel kind of bad to have to say this, considering you came all the way out here and all. But I don't have any fish to sell. The port is frozen solid, so I can't go out to fish. Yeah, this is the ingredients shop, so... But apparently, we can't buy anything there yet. Okay, why are there no... Oh, it's warm in here. There's no people here. That's weird. Let's go inside. Okay, fine. Oh, Kiel isn't frozen anymore. So warm. Oh, are you feeling better? Well, he's moving again, so... Why is it so abnormally cold here? And why is no... Why is nobody eating or drinking? Let's ask around, shall we? Yeah, let's. Hey, lady. I feel terrible to have to tell you this, but... But I have nothing to serve you. Not only do we have a shortage of food, our cook ran away as well. Well, that's not good. And I think I actually forgot something in the ingredients shop, but whatever. Well, this, what is this little cute thing? What's this? A cat? It's not a cat! It's a uh, Miekis, or whatever you like to call it. I heard a lot of different ways to say it, but I say Miekis. It is an animal that has lived along humans in Celestia since ancient times. It's so cute! Yeah, it is! Quickie! Aw, oh, look who is jealous! Oh. Don't worry, Quickie is still my best friend. Quickie! He? Okay, that's cute. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's not him we want to talk to. <laughs> You're looking for Belir? Yes. I heard that the Shileska Freedom Fighters are also after Belir. Unfortunately, I have no idea where Shileska's hideout is. Hmm, interesting. We already got a lot of the info we're looking for. There's a rumor going around that the Ice Kremel dwelling on the mountain to the north of this town is angry. Of course, it's just a rumor. The Ice Kremel? We never heard about a Ice Kremel before, have we? Ice Man cometh! <laughs> Anyone who's gone to the mountain to check things out never came back. So no one knows what's really going on. What are we to do? Oh, just chill, chill out, okay? <laughs> oh god, I'm so bad at this. The Ice Kremel? We should go meet the Ice Kremel. We may be able to win her support. Her support? It's a she? Huh. Interesting. Do you really think it's possible? If the Ice Kremel can freeze an entire town, who knows what she'll do to us? Yeah, you know, Farah, you're kind of just sending us off to the cooler, you know? <laughs> oh god damn it. Oh freeze, Mr. Freeze, why had you do how to do this to me? We don't have any other choice. The people of Peruda will freeze to death if we don't do something. Uh, I guess. Yeah, you're right. We'll go to the mountain. Huh? Are you serious? It's freezing out there. You won't have a chance. Okay guys, we're gonna go handle it, so stay cool! 
We'll be fine. We got toughness, if nothing else. That won't really help, though, if you're frozen to the bone, but okay. Then you should properly equip yourself. Go to the mountain gear shop nearby and purchase snow gear. And good luck. Thank you. We might really, really need it. Okay, cool party, guys. Oh, that was actually not intentional. Let's see, I believe this is... Yeah. Wait a freaking second. Witok! No, I don't want your fighting techniques, but why the hell are you here? How did you get here? Arg! Nothing beats the feel of cold steel in your hand. Ah, <laughs> you, you made a pun too. <laughs> Clever bastard. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff here we want to buy. Now... Do you remember way back at Ifrit Gorge, I said you should get at least one Flameberg? Well, this is where you want to equip it. If you don't have a Flameberg, then buy a Destroyer. Or, of course, if you already have the money. There's a lot of stuff here that I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a Crystal Shell, the Skull Staff for Keel, because it actually ups his intelligence for once. So that is very nice. And here we got a tote bag. A weapon that nobody can equip. Hmm, I wonder. When you're buying stuff here, you should really choose armor over weapons. Because you'll need all the armor you can get. Where we're, where we're going. Believe me. I actually sell the Omega Shield there, that's pretty cool. I don't have enough money for enough of those gold bangles, but I will sell some stuff. Let's see. Or gold bracelet, sorry. Tartan ribbon. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the skull stuff. Oh, that's pretty nice. And the crystal shell. And the tartan ribbon for Meredith. Let's see, let's just sell some old equipment real quick, shall we? Oh, wow. Um, and also, use rune bottles on your flare capes. I don't know how many you have. But do it. You will need it. Yes, I am actually preparing a lot now till what's what's coming up because really? What awaits us? You really, really don't want to take lightly. Let's see, I will Oh great, it was Earth Elemental, I forgot. Let's Yeah, let's just sell the Dow Blade, why not? No, I want to sp And I'm gonna buy the other gold bracelet. There we go. And equip it on... Let's see, who didn't have one yet? Ah, there we go. Bra gold bracelet. There we are. So if you have enough money, just buy everything you want. If you don't, prioritize getting armor. And save the weapons for later. Yo, hello again. This is the Mountain Gear Shop. Good luck in your climb. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's... Ha Get some mountain gear then. Welcome! Are you the crazy folks planning to climb Mount Celsius? Mount Celsius? I like that name. How do you know about us? Just choose whatever you like. It's all been paid for by Gusten. Gusten? Gusten? That man we just met? I guess we owe him one. Yeah, I guess we do. Huh. Whee! Let's see. What should Meredith choose? We... well, we might as well take him up on it. Yeah, I guess there's no harm. All of the clothes that we have are warm and comfortable. Just pick whatever you like. So, it's time for us to play dress up! Never do that again. So, Gil, you found anything you like? I wonder if I'll be able to find anything that's really me. Well... Okay, did you find anything or what? No, he did. We have to find clothes for them. Let's try the Letterman jacket. That might look good on Kiel. How about this one, Kiel? Hmm? Show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Did you decide? Uh. Oh, he likes it. Hey, not bad. <laughs> mm, not too shabby, I guess. It's nice and light. Perfect, you should pick that one. 
Hmm. What? Uh, this won't do at all. Come on now, do I look like a Cramble Ball player? This is too flashy. <laughs> the color scheme is outrageous. Outrageous! It has nothing remotely resembling grace, and to top it off, it, it has shooty stitchings. This type of garment is not suited for intellectual people. No, but brainless football players. Yeah, that's fine. Jeez, how mean can you get? Okay, he didn't like it. Fine. So let's just put that thing back. And my hands are free. How about you, Meredith? Find anything? With so many to choose, Meredith cannot decide. Well, I think I saw something back here that could really fit you. Buddy costume! There you go. Meredith, how's this? What? Let Meredith see. Oh, did you see something? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? What do you think? I guess not. <laughs> Reed, you are dirty. Ow. <laughs> Aw, man. That sucks. <sighs> okay, fine. What's here then? Trench coat, Santa costume, cape. Let's try the trench coat up for Keel. I really like trench coats. I actually wear one myself. Or a kind of short one, but hey, it's, it's a trench coat. Did you decide? Hey, he likes it. Hey, not bad. Wow, that actually looks pretty cool on you. No pun intended. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. Yeah. It really fits you. <laughs> it looks good on you. you sh I think that's fine. Um, oh god, come on, Keel. This is no good. The material is too thin and the neck is too wide. This will not protect me with adequate thermal protection. Furthermore, it's much too long and it will limit my mobility. Yeah, like you move that much. This is a poor choice of clothes for scaling a mountain. No way, I can't wear this. God, Keel! <sighs> You're not scaling the mountain anyway. It's Reed, Uncle Trailing Reed. Okay, no, the trench coat was here, right. I'll put that one back. Fine. How about here? Heavy cloak, down jacket, and a kitty costume. Oh, Meredy! Yeah, this is will pretty much be the whole episode just playing dress up. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> what do you think? Come on. She like She likes it. Oh, Meredy like. Okay, let's see. Oh. Well, that was lame. Meredith's cats. Meow. Uh, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Sorry, Meredith. <laughs> I'll uh, bring you something else. <laughs> meow. <laughs> I don't think I ever tried that on her. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh god, that was fun. Okay, let's see. Let's try the heavy cloak then for Keel. Let's try this one then. How about this one, Keel? Hmm? Show me. Heavy cloak. Come on. Do you decide? And he likes this one too. Hey, not bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. This is it. It's long enough to keep out the cold, and yet it breathes well. The fabric offers protection from both enemies and the elements, and allow maximum mobility. No, you gotta be kidding me. The design and color are dignified, and it looks fashionable, sophisticated. Alright, this is it. Oh, Keel, no. That was the lamest one yet. How about you, Vera? Found something? I prefer one that's real, really warm and comfy. Well, maybe she will like the bunny costume then. Hey, I need to try, okay? Come on, how about this, Farah? What does it look like? Uh, something that can keep someone warm? <laughs> maybe not you, but at least I know someone will get warm. <laughs> you handed over the bunny costume. Please like it. Oh, man. 
What are you trying to make me wear? Oh, fine. Stingy chicks. <laughs> nope. No, not the trench coat. I wonder if Meredith also likes the Santa costume. I need to try this. What? Let Meredith see. Let's see. What do you think? It's too stuffy. Oh. Fine. <sighs> okay. Cape. Meredith. Nope. Quickie, you're in my way. Meredith, how's this? Hmm? What? <laughs> what do you think? Okay, she likes it. Ooh, Mary they like. Hmm, well, that's actually quite cute. Mary they wants this one. Ooh, a cape. It's so warm. Thanks, Reed. Yeah, a cape is enough to keep her warm. That's a little bit weird. Let's see. A poncho. That can't be warm, but I'm gonna try it anyway. How about this, Farah? What does it look like? Uh, a poncho? Eh. You hand it over to Poncho. Let's see. What do you think? Hmm, she likes it. This might work. I don't know if there's any more, you know, things you can choose for your characters. And how the heck is that thing gonna keep you warm? Oh, this is warm and fluffy. I'll take this one. Thanks, Reed. I, uh, as I said, I don't know if there's more things you can try. But uh, those are at least the ones that I know about. Well, even though the cat costume kind of surprised me. Now, we have to find something for Reed. So just talk to the guy at the counter. What type of clothes would you like? Uh, I don't have... You don't have what? Taste? <laughs> Huh. How about something like this? <laughs> it looks very good on you. Well, thanks. It looks... Uh, a little bit like a Santa costume. Yeah, really looks a little fat in this one, but hey, it's better than nothing, I guess. This might be way too hot to be wearing casually. So he just takes it off when we go outside. What the heck, Reed? How stupid are you? Hi. Yo, are you travelers? That's it, and you got a pretty messed up face there, dude. Nasty. Now, I believe that was there was something that I forgot in the ingredients shop, I believe it was in. I hope. Yeah. Check this cooler thingy. For once again. I am the mysterious wonder, Chef. I'll show you how to make the spicy shrimp that will rock your world. And we got this recipe for spicy shrimp. Spicy shrimp has three ingredients. Shrimp, tomatoes, and red satay. And we get the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Hope you freeze to death. No, I'm just kidding. It's awesome. Now we just have to find the inn. I believe actually it's in here. Are you the inn? Won't you buy something? Uh, no. How much money do I have anyway? Oh, not that much. Oh, well, the inn can't be that expensive, can it? 2,000 gold?! Are you serious? That's not cool! Pun not intended, once again. Please make yourself at home. I, I need an inn, but... Dude! 2,000! I don't know what the last inn we were in... <laughs> how much that was, but... It wasn't even close to 2,000, right? Okay, let's go and kick some ice! Yeah, we're done in Peruti for now, so let's go to Mount Celsius. It's actually very short. It's actually right over there. But before moving on, I will equip the Flameberg. It's weaker, but man, does it do good damage against the enemies out here. And I, which I now can show you. Ice Tigers and Flying Soul. We already seen the souls, but not the Tigers. And also, let's take away all the spells except for Eruption. And thankfully, spells don't have cooldown in this game. <laughs> okay, that was actually a little bit too forced, even for me. Oh well, 
Let's go, you see? 800 damage, one hit. That is amazing. And fire spells, like eruption. Oh! Farah was frozen today! Yes, there's actually a... Frozen is actually a uh, sp status element in this game. You can get frozen and you can't move. That looks very uncomfortable, Farah. Is she still frozen? No, okay. So, being frozen actually get cured by when you win the battle. So, that's good. I guess you can also use a... Panacea bottle. Let's fringe to get that new skill I forgot about. We get mental charge, or plus mental charge. Now, that's not a spell you can use. That's a passive skill. Power up. Restore one plus one percent of an all ally TP at the end of battle. So, that's pretty nice, actually. So, yeah, those passive skills, you can't use them in battle. But that says itself, I mean, it's a passive skill. Now, this is Mount Celsius. And it's, of course, a dungeon filled with ice elemental enemies. So, what I actually will recommend you to do is to try to level Ifrit up to level 12. As you can see, Ifrit for me now is level 11. I almost said level 3 there, and I kind of freaked out. <laughs> I looked at the gauge. <laughs> I got Ifrit at level 11 now. And you should also get Gnome up to level 9. It might take a while, but you will get a spell that will help you big time against the next boss. It's usually not a very good spell, but against that boss, it is gonna wreck house. So, next time, we will climb Mount Celsius. And there will probably be some ice puns there too. Eh, can't promise anything. So, until next time guys, I'm Palkia Fanoid, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.